This is a week in the NFL when not a lot of actual journalism happens. It's agents with group text messages to various reporters, and they send out the very self-serving characterization of the terms of deals, and the reporters race to Twitter, and whoever has the fastest thumbs gets the credit for being first on something that was essentially announced by the agent. And again, a lot of times, the original tweet mischaracterizes the deal. It's the quid pro quo. I say that because Jay Glazer told me years ago, Peter, the the, the real journalism in this business is finding out the stuff they don't want us to know. And I had something fall into my lap yesterday, and I wasn't looking for it. It just kind of fell out of the sky. And I actually, for a change, made phone calls, got confirmation, sought comment from the team before I actually reported it, which all good journalists do, including the not good ones like me. End result. And I didn't know this, and this wasn't out there. The Snyders have cleared out of the commander's facility and actually happened in late December. They are gone. They are ghosts. And apparently Snyder is living in London now. Uh, And secondly, within the building, the word being used as it relates to the sale of the team is imminent. And uh, some other people I talked to believe that it could all happen by the meetings in Arizona. There's a lot that needs to happen behind the scenes for that to occur. Usually we find out someone's buying the team And then they go to the meetings, have a finance committee report, and they do the vote. I think what the league wants to try to do, Peter, is do it all in one fell swoop. And they emerge from a meeting in Arizona with an announcement there's a new owner for the commanders. And no one says anything publicly about it before then. I feel like that's where this may be heading. Mike, you know why that makes sense? It makes sense because uh, the longest investigation... Uh, you know, the now the I guess it's 13 or 14 month Mary Joe White investigation. Tell me, why would an investigation take 13 or 14 months? An investigation which there's so much already known about it via the reporting of the Washington Post, via the lawsuit by the cheerleaders. Uh, and 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 others, uh, I, I should say, I, I, let me rephrase that, via the lawsuit by former employees. Uh, and there's so much out there already. And so many people willing to talk about this. You tell me one good reason why after however many months, 14, 13 months, why there's no report yet. I deduce well, after covering the National Football League for 39 years <laughs> that the reason is that they are trying to basically use this as a cudgel over Daniel Snyder and basically say to Daniel Snyder, hey, listen, we don't necessarily have to uh, put any of this out uh, if you sell your franchise. Completely. And he has probably reached the conclusion right now. In order to, and I would say the only way, the only way to ameliorate the situation in Washington, to fix it, the only way is for Daniel Snyder to sell the team. That's it. So the only announcement that the NFL could make, the only one, that would satisfy anyone in Washington is that Snyder is selling the team completely and fully. And back to the point that we made in segment one about the timing of the Panthers bears trade. Once you know you're getting something really good, you just get it done when you can get it done before somebody can change their mind. I think that's why they want to get all this done. Keep it quiet. Don't have an announcement that whoever is buying the team. And I don't know who the favorite is to buy the team. But whoever has emerged as the one that will be buying the team, don't have an announcement and a five-week buildup to the final act because who knows what Snyder would do between the announcement of the winning bidder and the finalization. Just get it all done, keep it all quiet, have it announced, and we just move on. I agree with you, Peter. This Mary Jo White investigation has been delayed not by accident. And people get confused because – 
organizations like the NFL like to throw around the term independent investigation, which creates the impression that they're just surrendering control of the entire process to someone who comes in, takes over, lets the investigation go wherever the facts will lead and comes to a conclusion that the person who hired the investigator may hate. That's not how it works, folks. It's not an independent investigator. It's an outside lawyer doing the bidding of the person who has hired that lawyer. And the fact that Mary Jo White keeps getting assignment after assignment after assignment after assignment from the NFL means she's giving them what they want. The client wants a certain thing. The client doesn't reduce it to writing. The client sometimes doesn't articulate it. One of the reasons that outside lawyers are good at their job is they know how to pick up on what the client wants. And what the client has wanted here, I believe, is a process that takes just long enough, just long enough, so nothing is reported, nothing is released, nothing is said, nothing is done until Daniel Snyder has signed all the paperwork necessary to surrender control of the team to the next owner. I agree with you completely, and we may never see, ever. And they'll have an, they'll have an excuse for it. They'll have an excuse why they never released it. It's not relevant anymore. Snyder's gone. Whatever it is, they'll give us something with a straight face. We're never going to find out what Mary Jo White found out that may have been that cudgel, as you use the term accurately, kind of an SAT word, to get Daniel Snyder to leave. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.